Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel SG Education. Today we will see class 7 subject science chapter 17 effects of light exercise solutions. Question 1. Fill in the blank. Question A. When the beams from the headlights of a car fall on an object in the night, the shadows called fill in the blank and fill in the blank can be seen. Answer. When the beams from the headlights of a car fall on an object in the night, the shadows are called umbra and penumbra can be seen. Question B. During a lunar ellipse, the shadow of the fill in the blank falls on the fill in the blank. Answer. During a lunar ellipse, the shadow of the earth falls on the moon. Question C. During a solar ellipse, the shadow of the fill in the blank falls on the fill in the blank. Answer. During a solar ellipse, the shadow of the moon falls on the earth. Question D. Various shades of color are seen in the sky at sunrise and sunset due to fill in the blank. Answer. Various shades of color are seen in the sky at sunrise and sunset due to scattering of light. Question 2. Give reasons. Question A. Space beyond the earth's atmosphere appears dark. Answer. Space beyond the earth's atmosphere does have some gas and cosmic dust but there is not any atmosphere. As there are no particles to scatter the sunlight, the space appears black. Question B. We are able to read while sitting in the shade. Answer. We are able to read because the sunlight which falls on the book is scattered and reaches our eyes. While sitting in the shade, our eyes adjust to the environment and to amount of light available. That is how we are able to read. Question C. We should not observe the solar ellipse with eclipse with naked eyes. Answer. During a solar eclipse, ultraviolet rays which are harmful to us reach the earth and may lead to eclipse, blindness or retinal bumps and cataracts. In order to protect our eyes, a solar eclipse should never be watched with the naked eye. A special type of goggles should be used for this. Question 3. Give some examples of scattering of light that we come across in day-to-day -day life. Answer. The, in, the formation of rainbow shift in position of stars increase daytime mirage, inverted image, glittering of diamond, the working of lens and prism, bending of pain in water are examples of scattering of light. The blue color of the sky is due to the scattering of sunlight by the molecules of air. During sunrise and sunset, sunlight has to travel greater distance. So shorter wavelength gets scattered off and removed and only orange and red with longer wavelengths reach us. So during sunrise and sunset, sky appears fed and orange. Question 4. Why is the shadow of a bird flying high not seen on the earth? Answer. Birds flying high in the sky do cast their shadow but because they are shading an area that is very tiny, the shadow is not visible. The higher the bird flies, the smaller the shadow it casts. Also, when the bird flies high, the dark part of the shadow that is called umbra does not reach the ground so we do not see its shadow. Question 5. Why is a penumbra not obtained from a point source? Answer. The umbra, penumbra are the distinct parts of a shadow created by any light source after striking on an opaque object. For a point source, only the umbra is cast sharp dark shadow and non-penumbra. 
because all the light of the point source will be blocked by any shadowing object whereas penumbra forms only when some of the light from the source gets blocked by the shadowing object and not all of it does question 6 answer the following questions in your own words question a what is meant by scattering of light answer scattering of light is the deviation of light rays from its straight path as light propagates through the atmosphere it travels in a straight path until it is obstructed by bits of dust or gas molecules in the atmosphere the process in which light gets deflected by the particles in the medium through which the light passes is called scattering example the blue color of the sky is due to the scattering of sunlight by the molecules of air question b does the shadow really vanish in the zero shadow condition answer yes the day on which the sun reaches exactly overhead at noon shadow completely disappears this event can be seen in the region between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn the shadow diminishes and eventually disappears for a while only to reappear later question c will the laser beam be seen if it passes through a glass box which contains a lighted incense stick answer yes it will be seen question 7 discuss and write question a write a science based paragraph on what if the sun did not rise answer the sun is a star and the center of our solar system everything in our solar system revolves around the sun if the sun were to suddenly disappear earth and the other planets would retain their forward motion effectively flying off into outer space in a straight line if the sun didn't rise means the earth's rotation had come to a screeching halt sunrise and sunset are a result of the earth's rotation so we will not get to see sunrise or sunset earth's spinning generates the magnetic field at the core and it is saving us from harmful rays from the sun without sun it would be very dark no sun means no plants and no animals of course without sun none of us would even exist moon will disappear because the moon does not produce light we only see moon because sunlight is reflected by the moon without the sun's warmth earth would quickly become a much colder place life would be difficult oceans will freeze without sun rays all photosynthesis on earth would stop all plants would die all animals that rely on plants for food including humans would die question b what if efforts will you make to remove the misconceptions about eclipses answer solar lunar eclipses have been traditionally observed as an ominous sign and therefore superstitions are prevalent in association with this natural phenomena all these misconceptions should be removed by explaining scientifically the process of eclipse how it happens explain with the help of diagram and models of sun moon and earth explain how special glasses which will protect us from uv rays and excess heat can be used to observe eclipses safely also inform that eclipses are natural phenomena and can be predicted in advance question c various eclipses and the condition during that period answer there are two eclipses solar eclipse lunar eclipse solar eclipse there are two types of solar eclipse total solar solar eclipse partial solar eclipse total solar eclipse in total solar eclipse the moon is between the sun and the earth and the moon shadow covers the sun disk fully by perfect alignment the part of the earth that lies in the umbra of the moon experiences total solar eclipse 
पार्शल सोलर इक्लिप्स इन पार्शल सोलर इक्लिप्स द मून इज बिटवीन द सन एंड द अर्थ एरिड द मून शैडो डज नॉट कवर द सन डिस्क फुली बिकॉज ऑफ इम्परफेक्ट अलाइनमेंट द पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ दैट लाइज इन द पेनम्रा ऑफ द मून एक्सपीरियंसेस पार्शियल सोलर इक्लिप्स द सोलर इक्लिप्स ऑकर ऑन अ न्यू मून डे सोलर इक्लिप्स लास्ट फॉर फ्यू मिनिट्स लुनार इक्लिप्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ लुनार इक्लिप्स टोटल लुनार इक्लिप्स पार्शियल लुनार इक्लिप्स टोटल लुनार इक्लिप्स इन टोटल लुनार इक्लिप्स द अर्थ कम्स इन बिटवीन द सन एंड द मून एंड द अर्थ शेडो कवर्स द मून सर्फेस फुल्ली बिकॉज ऑफ परफेक्ट अलाइनमेंट पार्शियल लुनार इक्लिप्स इन पार्शियल लुनार इक्लिप्स द अर्थ शेडो डज नॉट कवर द मून सर्फेस फुल्ली बिकॉज ऑफ इम्परफेक्ट अलाइनमेंट A small part of the moon surface is covered by umbra, part of Earth's shadow. The lunar eclipse cover occurs on a full moon night. Lunar eclipses last for few hours. Question eight. Explain the difference. Question A. Point sources and extended sources. Answer: The difference between point sources and extended sources is given below. One, a source of radiation light that is concentrated at a point and considered as having no spatial extension. An extended source is a source consisting of many point sources separated internally. In point sources. Shadow we get from a point source is dark called umbra. In extended sources, shadow we get from extended source of light is faint called penumbra and the dark called umbra. Question B: Umbra and penumbra. Answer: The difference between umbra and penumbra is given below. One: The umbra is a central core of darkness which tapers away. The penumbra is an outer cone of partial shadow which diverges instead of tapering. Two, umbra is shadow formed from a point source of light. Penumbra is the shadow formed from the extended source of light. Umbra, it is dark. Penumbra, it is faint. Four, umbra is the area of total shadow. Penumbra is the area of partial shadow. Over chapter seventeen, effects of light exercise solutions are completed. If you like this video and want to see the similar videos, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel SG Education. Thank you.